Thank you. Getting teachers vaccinated is a big step to getting all students back in school full time. IPS already announced it plans to bring back all kids after spring break. Now Carmel School says it's working on a plan to do the same. News 8's Logan Gay shares reaction from parents and a teachers union. Families at Carmel Clay Schools are sharing mixed reactions. After finding out the school administration is working on a plan to send 6th through 12th graders back to the classroom, we've got to do something. Myla McKinney has three kids in Carmel Clay Schools. She says the hybrid education model has been challenging for them. And then mentally, it's just, it's been challenging. This post on the Carmel Clay Schools Facebook page telling families they are working on a plan to get students back into the building full time. McKinney tells me the sooner this happens, the better. I feel that they are not alone anymore and, um, you know, reestablish relationships with friends that they had before all of this begun. And it's a good trial run for next year, I think. I mean, it will help us work out the kinks. But Carmel schools are not the only ones considering this. Yesterday, Noblesville schools sent a message to parents and staff telling them it's looking at next steps with the goal of getting back to normal schedules when it's safe. But the president of the Indiana Teacher Association, Keith Gamble, says school administrations and parents need to proceed with caution. An appointment to be vaccinated is not the same as being vaccinated. I know that teachers uh, and, and all staff are, are wanting to get everything back to as close to normal as possible, as soon as possible. Uh, but you know, the CDC has um, been pretty clear that we need to make sure that we don't get out too far ahead of, of things. And we don't want to make the wrong decision this close to the finish line. He believes there are a lot of questions that need to be considered. How classrooms need to be set up when you're welcoming more back into the classroom. Uh, that needs to be considered. The lunchroom, when you know, you're going to have now, when you, know, you would have had half as many seats filled, you may have almost all of the seats filled. McKinney says she understands the hesitation from some members in the community, but feels this is the right thing to do at this point. It's a very hard decision to send your child back into still a COVID era school, but we've got to do something because the kids are just falling more and more behind academically because they're not in school the full time. The administration says parents will be notified when the transition plan is finalized. In Indianapolis, I'm Logan Gay, which TV, which TV.com and follow us on Facebook.